Yes, 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 yes. Nigerians and those people all over the world. I am Albert Obaze, the crack team boss, the boss of the crack team. Uh, we don't want to waste you guys' time. As you can see, our guest is here. Our guest is here because uh, we know we all know what happened in a door today. The state was was shut down. You understand? For good. It was shut down for good. So at least send a clear statement to send a clear message to election rigors in Nigeria, to send a clear message to enemies of democracy. Before I introduce my guest, of course, is a very popular face in the Nigeria space, is a popular face in diaspora, is a popular face in Edo. Please take one minute of your time because today is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, our guest is a politician. He has also served in the administration of His Excellency Governor Noyegase of Baseki. So we go drill our way where today. We go throw some kind of question away. Let me say, go say, I'm about to question now. What's to do? So we don't catch on that today. I have been tracking him. In fact, I told him when uh, when uh, he visited uh, UK uh, recently for the diaspora tour. I said, sir, please, you need to create time for us. We need to interview you. And he said, anytime. But today, I said, is the one we're going to in, uh, interview after the Asue Oge parade. Please, I want you all to share this video. We need to hit minimum 200 people watching before we start. It is our practice here. We must hit minimum. You know, we are we all are excited. So use the 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 mood. You see what the, 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 the happened today for Ring Road now. In fact, as at the time my, my boys took this shot, many things never even happened. Now, the early stage of the of the of the rally be this. Whenever they did bring out the main shots now, now I'm made our fair rest first. So please share this video. Let's get minimum 200 people watching before we introduce our guests. As you can see, I am sharing the video to, to other platforms so we can get our people to join. Oh. For me, eh, eh, are they are they happy, you know? Because since I've been supporting PDP, I have never seen this massive crowd. I have never, I have never seen this massive crowd. I have never seen this organic crowd, say, organized by PDP as a party. The last time when I see this kind of crowd, I think that Lagos during the OB the, during the OB presidential campaign. Now I see this kind of crowd. In fact, when OB visited Edo during his presidential campaign, he not even pull this crowd. So that will tell you that Aswe Igodalo has been accepted by the people. Obie is already accepted by the people. So friends all over the world, join me, make welcome. Our brother, our father, our friend, Honorable Osaze Osebege Ero, former commissioner, art and culture, Edo State and Diaspora Affairs. You are welcome, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. Obi I want to thank you for having me and I appreciate you for all the good work. That you are mm. doing in public and do out there. Okay. Mm. Thank you. I greet everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh today it's been a very busy day for you, sir. I know because I've been uh, I've been speaking uh with you since yesterday, and uh, I was also tracking you. I saw videos, different different people posted videos that uh, that you were captured. So I know it's been very hectic. It's not easy uh, mobilizing people from different locations. It's not also easy coordinating a massive ra rally like this. As we speak, we never hear one single casualty. We never hear say uh, there was a stampede, Pesicon fed. We never hear say something happened, Pesicon by. 
So it shows that God is involved in this project. It shows that this parade was endorsed by God and our ancestors. Sir, my first question today, sir. Why are you supporting Aswe Igodalu? Because <laughs> you are you are a politician, and uh, from what I have seen, Aswe Igodalu is he just to be like a governor uh -huh. No, they they have worked hard for what they have. So the lot of people when they easily they play play with money, they throw money around. That's why you see people. Leaving the PDP to say, ah, blind on that side, he go happen because that other guy say he go take care of leaders, he go share for that side. I'm sure other governorship ca uh, candidates across party lines have tried to reach out to you because of your political sagacity or your, your capacity. Why are you supporting Afro Igodalo for governor, sir? Thank you very much, my brother. At least, uh, like you said, we have been governed for quite some time. That's for, uh, our brother, our father, comrade Adam Ali Oshimole. And um, we saw what happened. Uh, now Oshimole was able to try his best to get a lot the state. He did very well compared to what he inherited. And part of that government was our own governor, Governor Gobi Inoya Selbaseki, who was the chairman of the economic team. And I want to say this very well because um, Oshimole himself told me the reason why how she wanted to visit the government. And the one of the main reasons he said was that he needed somebody that is very prudent. He needed somebody that can pay, continue payment of salary as a friend. He needed somebody that can do you know, infrastructure development better than he. Mm. And he needed somebody that is very prudent with the economy, mm. with funds, or with the state funds. And you need somebody that can think outside the box, not relying mm. on Abuja or the little internal generated revenue at that time. And mm. the only person that could do it was His Excellency Governor of Basaki. These were the words of our father, Adam Sali Oshimole. Mm. And of course, when uh, Basaki came, he did exactly that, and even beyond that. You know, what Obaseki has done in this state in terms of infrastructural development and institutional reforms, my brother, I will I stand to be corrected that he has surpassed every other great governor in this. The fact, the truth must be said. And again, uh, I found out and I know that Asu Ibudalo was part of that team during comrade time. Mm. And after that, Asu Ibudalo became the chairman of the economy team. A lot of narrow summit that it was done every year. And when I was a commissioner, you can see what we did in terms of uh, the festival, the arts and culture development, and all that, how we promoted arts and culture in the state. Also, Igodalo was chairman of the Nigeria with network problem. Oh, we just lost uh, our guests on the show. Uh, we'll try to to reconnect and get him back. You know. Go okay. ahead, sir. Yes, Sorry. yes, thank you, sir. Like I okay. said, Ashwin Ashwin Gudalo was part of the economy team, and he became the chairman of the economy team. And mm. he supported the governor of Obaseki. So he understand the governance right from comrades eight years and Obaseki seven years, almost eight years now. So there's mm. no better person that, you know, can uh, do what, I mean, do continue the good work of Governor Godwin in Obaseki. So mm. we were very happy. And when I played, I played golf, he's a golfer too. I played golf with Obaseki and he told me the reason why he said it took him a long time to convince Aswe to accept that position because he knows Aswe is the only one that can do better than what he has done. That is mm. enough for me to say, look, we put a do first, not our personal pocket or our personal interest, but the interest of the state. Because as a do so now, we are very proud of who we are, what Obasaki has done in the state, and what the next governor is coming to do. And again, we always pray as leaders, good leaders, our fathers, 
that whoever takes over from us should do better. So I have no convince, you know, nothing to convince me that this is the best person for the job. And that is why oh. I put in my support. Yes, we've got oh. seen uh, approach uh, people from other parties have approached us to come and help them. But I'm convinced that the only person that can continue the good work of Governor Basaki and even do better is Astro Godalo. That is why I'm working with them. Wow. Wow, beautiful one. I I I love that. Thank uh, you. as we speak, we have over 200 people watching. Please, my people, this is not our usual practice. Now, big man, now we day now day yes, so now arise standard <laughs> now uh, <laughs> channels now people like Oga supposed to go and yeah now street media. So sir, as you they knock them, you're gonna throw pigeon, they throw pigeon. Uh, because this is the street media, it's not the regular one where they follow interview so that um an average person can easily copy this link and send to a mama for video because a mommy listen to what this former commissioner talk. Okay, sir, we don't hear you, and uh, we, we I agree completely with your submission because I am also part of this system. In yes. fact, after the House of Assembly election, I think the, uh, in March. I know how many times I called. Definitely, I can't go to the governor to say, "Sir, who will be the next governor?" <laughs> you know the way governor they do. Oh, damn you! He <laughs> gonna say that that will be your problem now because that would be cause issue between him with Philip. We said that we finish well. What of their ground? You're gonna do. You're gonna do campaign. So I was not asking the first lady, who's like my mother, to say, eh, "Mommy, how far now? How far? Who? Who will get the look?" Because. Philip was hustling everybody. Philip was calling me. Different people they call me. Or James, they call me. So me, I don't want to be like star boy, like like at the phone. Let me take a position and start work. I, the family told me that your own Oga is saying he is waiting for God's direction. She herself, they pray. He said, "But Abba, take this on the bank. The person we are praying for to accept this this uh, this thing." It doesn't seem interested. I said, ah, really, mama? Then they use governor shit, they beg me, say, leave that thing. He said, because he's not coming to steal. Because he is he's busy. He has he has so many things in his in his hands. So, and the kind of, the political space is kind of toxic. So, the more they look, say, ah, with all, all the governor has done, you know, see the way that they, that they insult him. So, now, what do I call do? He says, but we are still praying. So me myself also use my cracked team eye. I can say now I swear you go that low. Ah. That's why during the uh, Alago Daro, I carry my camera. They follow her. People they say people call it. Why is Abba just following the chairman of the Alago Daro? I don't already they get the feeling. Say Naim be the choosing one. So so the next question I want to ask you now. Many people say Governor Basaki knows the supporter because he's qualified. Because you understand the system, you know where Governor Basak, you know where Oshomole work rich, you know where Basaki work, work, work rich, and they know our the immediate challenge of a door if he enter government house, he's not going there to learn. They say the reason why Obaseki choose her because Obaseki uh, uh he wants someone who will cover his tracks, he wants person who will help block some holes, you know, he wants a, a friend because they've been friends for over 40 years. And what did they tell us? So, so he wants it, but he wants to hand over to his friend. That's why Obaseki is supporting, not because he's qualified. Are you react to, to, to that, sir? I mean, I, I totally disagree with that mm. uh, school of thought. Mm. You know, most times people, people just think and reason and whatever they think, they just start spreading it and believing it. Mm. But if you look at qualification and the capacity and the competence of Dr. Asre Godalo, you don't need to be convinced that it's somebody that is going to do a very good job. He's been chairman of so many boards without boring you. Yeah, he has been chairman of so many boards. And, you know, those boards are world class uh, standard. So, Governor Gwan Opaseki, who has done well in the state, knows the kind of the person that can take over from him. People were saying, no, he doesn't have the right to support or guide or bring somebody. Well, of course, somebody that have ruled in states. I uh, would have done a lot. We don't want, you know, so you know, to hand over to, to just trade to politicians and let them decide and bring somebody that is not competent to come and run down everything. 
When you say Obaseke wants to preserve the Kuma Kuma Isra, Obaseke is a banker. He doesn't need anybody to come and cover Isra. And oh. I don't think there's any that he needs to cover because he's done a lot. So even whatever resources that he has gotten, he can tell you where he channeled all those money to. And without mixing words, we can name a few of what I know, which is just few of you know the lot that he has done across the states. You know, like I told you when we're playing golf, okay. I know you're not a propaganda, propagandist person or something like that, but the media service should have even done better than you know what they are doing. You don't go to inspect projects, you don't go to commission projects, you don't go to you know set off or do anything. Just that that is the style. He told me so, so I said, You are you live in London. How many times have you seen the Prime Minister or Mayor of London coming to inspect project? The, the work is done. I said, Well, sir, that is true. But in this side where we live, people want to see. It's all mm. about perception. And if mm. you don't talk, you don't do things, people just assume. You know, they don't know how it's done, how it's done. So it's mm. always good. You know, the commissioners should have even done better, you know, for him to make sure those things are done. I speak to some of them, my friends, to say, no, go and do this on behalf of Oga, you know, and let people know. Oga, I thank God I had the privilege to work for him, you know, in the first tenure. And that privilege, you know, about you are part of the team. You yes. know, part of the success story of Ministry of Arts, Culture, and Tourism. You know, we are part of it. We all work together. Why yes, did we make why did we make that success? By letting the world know what God has blessed Edo with. That culture, art and culture in Edo State is like oil. It just needs to be tapped into. And that would diversify people and bring in revenue. The tourism aspect of it is another huge one. The white people don't want to come and see your skyscraper. They want to come and see what is in your community, what is in your country, what you have. Like our culture, which is very rich, that is second to none in the world. Our monarch, His Royal Majesty, who is a lover of culture as well. You know, diluted monarch that we have. About talk by things. So those people want to come and see it, but you must tell them what you have. You know, so. When you talk about track record or talk about this, Governor Gorosiki is doing us very good to bring a man with competence, a man of capacity, a man that knows in and out of government and is tested and successful on his own, you know, to come and lead the state. And those are the, that's the only kind of person that he can help us himself. And of course, the deputy governor's candidate, Osarodio Oki, who is a seasoned politician, who is getting his open 24-7, he help a lot of people, he listens to everybody. And what he can do, he always, you can't go home. If you see him and tell him your problem, you can't leave there unhappy. He will tell you or give you advice that can help you. So having those two people, the ends of our fair of the state, my brother, I'm not boasting. I want to, you know, tell anybody that is from Edo, they're going to make us proud. And if you don't, quote me on this, because whatever you put on social media is your life. I'm yes. convinced that this is the best way forward, and these are the best people that will lead us. And let me thank everybody, <coughs> excuse me, you know, in diaspora. You know, like you said, we just came out from London, Manchester, Italy, Germany, you know, mm. when in the, to the diaspora. We came back, there were a lot of stories. Oh, why do they go and spend more time and money campaigning to those people? But those diaspora people, we know the value of those people in diaspora. Mm. I'm glad I'm, you are living in London now, in UK. You appreciate the diaspora people. You send money back home. Your manager, whoever is managing your place in Nigeria, of course, yes. you send him. Those are the kind of remittance, you know, that there are brothers and sisters in diaspora bring back home. They come back home to invest. They build their properties. Some of them build their business back home. I swear to God, understand this. And that is why he came and did those tour, the Europe tour, to tell them, look, we will tackle insecurity in the States. Because if a door is not safe, you will be scared to come back home. You won't come and invest. You wouldn't even want to visit. But if you know that now that a door is very safe, that you can come back home and visit your parents and visit your properties and visit your make investment, you want to bring your money back home. And those oh. with that, those are the kind of money that they will use as the internal generator revenue to develop the states. Not necessarily tax. You know, when we were commissioner, when I was a commissioner then, we brought in 60 Americans about three times. They spent four days in the hotel, they spent their money here, and by the time they went back, you know, the money they spent is already here. Mm. So that is how it is. That's tourism. 
You know, some of these countries in Africa and Europe and other places, they don't have oil. They generate their revenue from people visiting Kenya, for example. Vis people visiting and spending their money on holidays, you know, spending the hotel, spending, paying food and other things. So those are the kind of things that, um, you know, we want to encourage them to do. And the governor, uh, Aswe Godalo, his five-point agenda has been set out. He said, well-being of Edo people. I want to, two, economic growth of Edo people. Three, environment. Four, uh, security, law and order. You know, okay, sir, uh, honorable, uh, 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 honorable <laughs> sir, before you, I can see that you are loaded. You just want a <laughs> knock and a knock and a knock and but here, yeah, now, this is, now, now, street with your PD, so you will no, no, break no, and they come down. Look at the PD, look at the PD, then. You're a missile with PG, I'm a worry, 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 I'm a worry. We okay, have okay. almost 400 people watching, almost 400 Fantastic. people watching. Yes, Fantastic. almost 400 people watching across Facebook and uh, and YouTube. Sir, before we enter the five points agenda of your principal, uh, Dr. Aswalime Udalo, of course, you are the Deputy Director General Operations. So you are always with him. Uh, you have I've seen you uh, attend some Zoom meetings with him. So. I know you know him and you know his mission and his vision. The question I want to ask, as the director of operation of this campaign council, how, how were you people able to bring those people out today? Did you send buses to Kogi, to Delta <laughs> State, to Ondo? Because me myself, as the, my, my leg, my wife, Karen Poon, can't give me for a table here, because I hear midday. I don't go bed this evening. As to the body, they sweat. That's not me day here. They check on my boys. Ah, the drone work. This one is not recording. What is going on here? What about the person bringing the truck? What about the DJ? That's not me day here, since sir. What you would I do? I mean, how much did you people pay these people to come out to rally for to to come out for the solidarity rally for Aswan Lugi? How would I take bring the come out? Tell us. <laughs> Crafty boss. God bless you. Personally, I did not give one error to anybody. I can swear to God for that. Me, one error, I did not give. This meeting was planned after that nonsense uh, thing by that court, you know, the interpret misinterpretation of the court ruling. Yes. You know, people, you know, everybody was demoralized because they didn't understand. And we now said the only way to energize, to tell our people that no, this is a lie, let's test the mic. Yeah, our PG director general of the campaign, right honorable Matthew, I do as a do you who we are very proud of. You know, said no, he called the he called our principal, he said we need to do a road show. Mm. That became two days. No, the principal said, No, let's plan it. We can do it one week or two weeks or this or that. No, he said, No, do it tomorrow. You will see the adult people really love you, they will come out. All we need to do is put out a message on social media. Tell our, you know, media handlers, tell our people, somebody like uh, Abad, yourself, Abad, let them know that this is what we plan to do. They will reach out, and you will see that they do, people will come out. And that is what you saw today. And I would say, it's organic supporters and believers of Aswe Gudalo. And I was so glad. When I saw the crowd, I was happy. I did happy because these are true Edo people that have seen and know that they want progress. They want development. They want a better Edo. They want a better economy. And they know and they see that in the capacity and competence of Aswe Godal. So that's where they came out today. So not, even if you want a higher crowd, you want a higher boss, I don't think two days is enough for you to bring this kind of crowd. And if you are even higher, you will not get this number of people. If you spend 100 million, I want to get this kind of people. You know, there's over a million. Over a million or two million people today that have been Ringo. Edo was standstill. Ringo was shut down. If I were supposed to go to Ikubahi, we would not say no, the crowd was too much. Oh. They were, they were uh, a poor wolf uh, by Mutari. All his boys were on ground. The, uh, you know, civil defense, you know, the road safety. Everybody came out voluntarily on their own. And the uh, police, you know, they all came out to make sure everything was done properly. Even with this, traffic was still flowing. Because yes, Ringo will be shut down, 
the cars were diverted to other places, letting them know that there's no access on that side. There was no casualty, there was no thing, you know, it was just so about I did not give anybody one error. All we did was to tell people that we are meeting at Ringo by nine o'clock. Come and hear us way out. And when us way came, he was touched and he spoke his mind and still made some promise promises. And when you talk about promises, not just this normal politician talk, talk, talk. He will say, hold me to uh, hold me accountable for these words I'm saying. Like after one year in government, if we don't do this, if we are not on this level, come and hold us accountable. That is how he mm. talks. So mm. my brother, I'm so happy that this is Edo and our people and our states. Come September 23rd, we are still going to campaign. We will campaign to all the wards, to all the local government, to reach out to our people, just to go and tell them. You know, and not the normal jamboree, we are going to reach out word by word. And let them come out on that day. Vote, defend your votes. And let's see how they are coming to rig the election. Here. You know, because it's when you don't have people, that's when you talk about rigging. But by the time we vote from the units, from women, you vote at the unit, you sit down there, they count the results, you win. Then from there, you move to the ward. They gather the unit result for the ward, they count on, you win. Then from there, you meet to the local government headquarters, gather the result and count and announce, they will move to the states. Uh -huh. Myself and the DG will be at the states, in the beneath the Kumaya office, where we'll sit down, they will gather out the local government results, and we'll announce it on that day. I have no fear at all that I do want progress. I do have seen the development strides of government numbers of you, and they are pleased with him. Yes, few people are angry, and it's expected. There's no way you can please everybody all the time. You know, but people come, even me, uh, people ask questions, why are you seeing your brother Obasi I said, no, I see the good thing that Obasi is doing for Edo State. And it's not about me, it's not about any individual. But first, Edo. So we look at that and we are happy. So my brother, I think I want to thank, we will thank, continue to thank Edo people in diaspora, you know, to support good things and let them know that this is the way forward so that from next year, me and diaspora too, they can come back home and do whatever they want to do in their land. So I'm happy. Hello, Crafting, are we still there? Yes, yes, I'm here. I don't know what happened to my network, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, uh, okay. I was what just talking. I talking. Yes, I said I was just talking, telling the people how we appreciate them and thanking those like diaspora for telling their family, their brothers, sisters, their wife. If you see some old men that came there today, I have to go and personally meet them to say, oh, Papa, stay side, Mama, stay side. They said, No, I'm here, my son. I believe in this cause. Let me walk with you. Old hey. men, old women, not just youth. You know, today, you know, I wish I didn't have my phone with me. I would have taken those kind of pictures and sent to you. Old men, old women. Hi. I said, Papa, if I say no, I don't say it. I saw one talk. I want to follow now. They were walking on the street. I have to make sure they have special care. So that they, you know, these are elderly people that came out. Everybody came out. So if they mobilize, I don't know, but I'm telling you as a field operation, I did not give anybody one error. We only sent out message to come. They won't, they won't believe it, because they don't understand. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, our honorable, you know, you know why I ask you that question? I have asked Olu Martin the same question this evening. I have asked Fares, I have asked almost everybody that I know. The question they ask me is now two days. Then they, when they want to see money, bring out two days. As in, it was because I was live two days ago when I got the notice. That's where uh, AI O2 parade. I just didn't like. I think I was interviewing a uh, uh, barista uh, Dan Osaogbege when I got that this thing two days ago. So the reason I ask you is because. The opposition, we know them. They we want to also try the same thing. But I, I am very sure that if they spend 200 million, they will not get half of this because I saw the crowd there. It is not the regular uh, mobilization crowd. It's not the the Lema, the you know the 
clean people like they, they just want a better at those states now now we lead us to our next question sir how did you how was the state when when uh, you when you put god the the news when uh, at the barrister doesn't matter went to the street to say as well has been disqualified the pdb primaries have been nullified i am shocked because that day i received over 300 calls if me how about when they are brought see what about you will be feed operations for the campaign how did you feel how did the people feel when they re received the the panic news sir you know first of all about um when i when i heard i was just wondering and i said no we need to get it to the judgment first and i immediately called our senior brother wale yabu mm. who i know was part of the lawyers that were using and yes. he said it was nothing like that 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 is not the judgment that's not the ruling of the court hmm. okay so i'm better calling people like you said i got you know my phones started ringing off the hook you know saying this is what they had i said well first of all it's not possible because i was part of the electoral process i was part of the people that organized part of the congresses we saw the list of all the people that were delegates and how the delegates were elected for example, in my world, we had about nine people. I had the, there were some delegates of Bede Yama. There were some delegates of uh, Right Honorable Philip Shaibu. And there was delegates for the, you know, the PDP crisis have been ongoing. So when yeah. they get to think that they try to settle it and say, okay, let's see how we can manage and carry everybody along. But on that day, February 5th, in the village, the delegates of Philip Shaibu, Philip Shaibu and the other night who already stepped down that they were not going to partake from the process mm. of the conference. And the PDP guidelines from the national states that the three delegates that are going to vote for the election, I mean primaries, will be three delegates per ward. So when we now nominated people and went to the world coalition centers to do the election, the other people have already stepped down. Hmm. They said they were not partaking at the Congress. So even in my ward, for example, the other three people that was wanted to represent well, delegate for Philip Jaibu, came up and said, well, they didn't hear from their master. They were not mobilized. They didn't give any instructions. Since they've stepped down, they will join for us and vote for our candidate. They stood on the line and voted for the other three people that were nominated or elected, elected at our ward uh, level. The same thing oh. across board. So when you now step, when they now step down, you know you cannot partake in something that you do not. I mean, you cannot go to court or query something that you do not partake in. Yeah. So I was quite surprised. Sorry about delegate. Then again, those delegates came to the stadium, open, and that was the most free and fairest election primaries that I ever witnessed. Where you have the chairman, the governor of uh, San Fara State. And the co-chairman and the governor of uh, Delta State Delta and State. the second chief, yes, Senator uh, James. Uh, yeah, manager. James, James, yeah, manager. James manager. Thank you. Mm. From Delta mm. State was secretary of that committee. They all sat down. And then I was the chairman of the accreditation committee. Myself, mm. I mean, did the accreditation of the 18 local governments and not the delegate. We made sure those names with their ID card. And everything before we gave the delegate charge to the stadium. And the stadium that they, they all came in, they make sure their names were called before they voted and the numbers were counted. So hmm. my brother goes, so I have no fear at all. So but you know our people that were not part of this president, they started panicking and say, Oh, we don't have a candidate. I say with their widest dream, that was not the best way, a shortcut to get to Sadebe House. Let the things be done. You know, so until the bridge judgment and ruling really came out, it was totally different from what uh, the news that the announced that came out to portray. And we're mm. all disappointed. But mm. how can you spread that you know, sensitive and uh, wrong information to our people? So I went back to my village and asked our people to go back to our people and tell them that it's not true. You know, that of course we still have a candidate and we have somebody that, uh, you know, is competent, is capacity, you know, to rule the state. 
So I think we have been talking to our people and uh, they know, you know, what we need to do or not. Okay. <clears throat> you know, so... Okay. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable. That's that's a good one. I know it's a very busy day for you, but uh, we just we just need need this uh, interview to to get our people informed. They need we need to use our platform to carry to. This is serving as a bridge between uh, you guys that are handling the 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 feed operations at the grassroots level and we that are up here. And as we speak, we have over four hundred and twenty one persons watching us across the globe. Please share this video. We need to hit minimum seven to eight hundred for watching live, please. You can be here. You are enjoying the, this uh, broadcast. You love what we are doing every day. Uh, uh, Honorable is the fourth guest that we are that we are bringing. Now, now let me say, make a bring guests to call a talk to us. And if you are here, you love what you're seeing. You love the fact that uh, that uh, our Honorable is here. Please share this video. Give us thumbs up. Because it's a political update. Facebook will not distribute it. YouTube will not distribute it. You know, they, they believe it's sponsored. So please, you need to share. If you appreciate uh, His Excellency Governor Obaseki, you are a supporter, share this video. You are a supporter of Aswe Godalo, Osarodio Gie. You are a supporter of our Honorable, and even me myself, about Obaze, my fan, share this video so that other people go. We we'll watch, we we'll see our honorable they talk. You know, they say the devil is like a roaring lion. The the Akpata guy is is going from door. Is the man is just busy speaking uh, speaking a uh, worry worry language, brainwashing people, insulting Obaseki, insulting uh, Aswe Godalo. The APC guys they've told the uh, Akpakomiza not to say anything again. They don't want problem again. Me Akpakomiza not give the problem again. Denise, the same thing, cannot also express uh, 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 himself. So now, comrade, uh, now Shomole and the Yamu, uh, Rogide, and then they do the brainwashing now. So if we keep having people like Honorable uh, uh, Osaze Ero come to our platform to, to talk to Edo people, I'm sure our people will not be brainwashed. Now, but uh, Honorable, the question what I want to ask you, because I don't want to hold you for too long. Is Governor Baseki a good governor? I don't want to, I don't want you to answer this question because uh, he's your friend, he's your boss. <laughs> because I'm still asking myself, why is the uh, honorable Sazer Ero still around? Why is he still with the governor? Why is he still with the governor? Because I know many people who say they don't get appointment again, they don't reach that side, they don't even be present. <laughs> I know many people who say. Even the ones where they are promised that they are looking, they believe that maybe by this time it's supposed to be a place, it's supposed to be a America, what's going on? This is my other work, work, work. I remember what Matt, what was telling me, calling me, he said, I'm going to tell Baseki on Winner's Day, and then we're going to go like that. We're not going to go like that. He said, Why are you going to go like that? We don't win an election like this. And I can tell you, sir, the politician is already with APC now in the day. Well, I don't mention your name. Or we are batting in here. We want to come back again. Well, no, we we are not going to argue. Oh, we are not going to argue. You know, you are well assured. You should bring that money. You know, this will not be this one. So, sir, is Governor Baseki a good governor? And also use this opportunity to tell us some of his achievements when you know for a door where the man don't do. Tell us, is he a good governor, sir? Well, I think um, it depends on the parameters that we are looking at it. And, you know, and if you say whether he's a good governor of Edo State, I 150% agree with you because of the work and development that he has done in the state. Oh. You know, I would tell missing words, and people might not understand what a governor basically has done within this period surpasses what past governors have done in the state. Mm. Like I said, I've been back since 2011, followed the Shomole's campaign in 2012, partly worked with Shomole as executive director, project monitoring oil and gas, and before Obajaki senior, they made me a commissioner. I know the state, the development of the state. And that's why I keep, one of the reasons I thank Obajaki 
is because of what he did in terms of road infrastructures on that level and bringing us a very good man, a good governor. Mm. Mm. He has, Shomole could have brought anybody and said, this is the person I want to make up. But he looked at all of them and said, this is the best man that can take a door forward, move a door forward. Pay salary, every of the 24, 26, that's what went to you. The only state now that have increased from 30,000 to 40,000 and now 70,000 minimum wage. He has never missed that. The only state that pensioners have never not st stopped protesting, wearing black and protesting. The only state that have the primary health care, you know, they are still building the primary health care in every ward. They have 86 as we state, state as we stand. Oh, 86. State, 86 so far. These states are verifiable, you know. And again, look at the College of Education, uh, College of uh, North, School of Nursing, in Sapley Road. Fantastic, up to standard. Look at Stella Obasanjo. Look at, uh, you know, uh, College of Education in Abudu, which is my local government. Yes. Standard, built up to standard. Look at Binia Braca Road. That's a federal road because when we go home, we have a bad road that goes. We always complain. Now, when I was commissioner there, we cry and say, Oh, God, I beg. He said, That's a federal road. You know, the governor now said, Okay, because of that, and because of the way love they do, and all people, he now had a deal with the uh, NDDC and uh, stuff. I do state of uh, oil and gas producing commission and the state government, a tripartite agreement, which NDDC never fulfilled on that Binia Braca Road. But mm. more than 50% of that road now, and he's still working. And he promised that he will completely complete it before he leaves in September, I mean, November. So look at um, Ogbe Stadium, for example, the stadium, the way it transformed it. The man has done over 700 roads, interlink road, between Noredo, Kobaha. Look at the 19th street in Ugo, that would make you bread from Unibank. If you are going to a Kewa road and see local road, you don't need to come to town. That will make you there. That's how open up all those areas. Look at even mm. road from the control to Safle Road. Those roads used to be very lonely. And in fact, even road was done up to Oba and uh, Estate Gates. But now it's taking it beyond that to Safle Road. And it has opened up new city, new area. In fact, I have located my house over there. I left busy GRA to move to wow. that area. Was done. So you look at all those areas, he has done more than enough, you know, to just, you know, to mention a few. So when you have it, look at the secretariat, for example, because when we were commissioned, he came and said, he said, the same government is paying over one billion every month to private individuals because they are using their office spaces. If I put this one billion into this uh, structure, Built over 40 years ago by uh, someone of Bermuda. We can use those places as government of where government places, and it will be there for life rather than paying individuals for their apartments and their houses. I'll go there today. The state secretariat is one of the best standard. If you are there, you think you're in America or London. You know, there's no other better place because he values the, the, the civil servant, the worker. And instead, you need to create a neighborly environment, good environment for them to work. So you look at how that the civil servant won't come in the go anymore. They come in the morning, they stay there in the evening and work. Look at the e-governance, for example, for example, where you don't need to carry files from one place to another. Everything is done on computer. It's training people, and the civil servants are happy. And again, using that to save funds, money that you would have used to buy. Uh, stationaries, buy file, buy paper, buy pen. You don't need to do that. Just use your computer, do everything. Look at the Osioma. We have 24 hours light in government area, Osioma plant. You know, look at Azura plant. Look at the refinery in the Orion, modular refinery, where they produce their channel. Look at the uh, Isso. They've done, they've planted palm, or, uh, palm trees, you know, that we generate it revenue, create jobs, and feed the state. Before, Malaysia and Singapore and Malaysia and uh, Indonesia, they rely on palm oil. And we heard that they came to Benin City to pick that seed to go and plant. That is their major mm. not crude oil. So, uh, basically, I've known that and gone for, for back to that. 
Look at the Rubber Research Institute in uh, in uh, Rodigbe, Nureum. By next year now, they will start investing that rubber. And you know, that's raw material. It takes seven years. We planted it. We went there last uh, few months, a few weeks ago. They start investing that rubber. So for import uh, exports. So this will generate a lot of revenue for the state. So basically, I've laid a solid foundation, solid foundation for this state. And if you look at the infrastructure development and the institutional reforms, my brother, look at the uh, training center where he trains civil servants. Oh. Yes. all this in the city. Look at the judges quarters and the, uh, the court. Before now, you see lawyers, they will come out of courtroom, they are shit and dusty and smelly. But now it's all well conditioned. Look at the schools. You know, so look at the education. Basic education. You know, when people say what has been done, I just wonder and ask questions. Are these people from the do state or are they Benin? Or they just want to quarrel? You know, let the man is a human being. Yes, he must make one mistake for the other. What is expected of him is not there from you know from me. This is in style. For me, yes, Abbas, you know me very well. You know, when I was commissioned, we work together. Yeah. Travel, you know, and during my travel, Masaki stood by me. He supported me, you know, financially in paying my fare, in my pay my legal fees. And when I came back, with his reason, he, he knows why he did not love me. He knows why he didn't give up my government. You know, I'm still living. I'm still well. I'm still fine. You know, but that does not mean I should be the person and be angry. Oh, because he didn't give me an appointment, or he didn't give me a contract or money, then I'll start blinding my eyes over the good things that he has done for the state. Oh, no. So mm. for me, a man is a man. The man has done well for this state. And mark this date, Abbas. Most of these people that have said that he hasn't done anything now. Few years, many years to come, they will remember him. And they will know that, oh, they had a very good government. That really okay. Uh, honorable. Honorable. Thank you very much. Uh, no, you have touched these areas. What you've just said now, without holding paper, you've touched key areas where the governor has transformed Edo states. You know, never even go Edo North, they never even go Edo Central. Now, sir, you said one of the th the good things that Oshomole did for Edo people is recommending Governor Baseki to say this is the man that can take the state to another level, this is the man that can sustain. Payment of salary. This is man that can do better than me. And Oshomole, and Obaseke has really done far, far better than Adam Oshomole. Now, why is the question I want to ask you now is is Oshomole not seeing the same Obaseke qualities in Aswe Godalo? Because <laughs> if Oshomole is progressive and he he knows that Aswe definitely will still do better than Obaseke, why is he rooting? For a man that doesn't know the difference between a zoo and a museum, a man that doesn't know the difference, the the, the distance from a uh, from a do not from a uh, do central his village to 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 Akoko Edo. So why is Oshomole now going going low, very very low, to supporting a panel beater with that? verifiable qualification a man that cannot express himself and because the, the business of governance is not a it's serious business a man that does not know the difference between a, a zoo and a museum how that can person want a preside over a dog monthly allocation that is already over 16 billion so why i'm asking you because you said that was shomole you are also a friend of this government. Why is Oshomole not seeing the qualities he, he saw in Obaseki in Aswe Godalo? <laughs> the crafty boss. But I think if the answer is simple. Oshomole is a part is a party man, is an APC, and uh, we are in PDP. As well as Dano and Dano Baseki are in PDP. But again, I want to I want to thank God and appreciate them for their reconciliation. And you saw the last Adar, Allah Adar, where God, you know, just observing Dano Baseki and Shemole reconciled. 
was a key woman award and they were able to settle their differences that is you know paramount that is important and that's good no no so uh, has forgotten that settlement it be like it be like uh, the 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 rest the the french has or someone like for that allowed that you know they don't forget he has <laughs> forgotten because recently he did a video lambasting uh uh lambasting uh as well go download lambasting the governor that uh, there is flood problem the door that a, a child a child a child uh, recently died in the door was you know we cannot say because he's a politician he's a party man he will now recommend someone like okpevolo so i am sure that oshomole has forgotten that reconciliation and is ready to drag obaseki to the mud and that's why he got alone well um crack symbol without him pray for a comrade yes I, 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 we are politicians you know as good as obaseki is the apc people and other people even they will be even the day uh a part always a benefit a beneficiary of obaseki's uh like just a straight tantrum and something now uh, which is very wrong you know Shumale, you can look this is not even the real company that we know by now Kobe would have to say a lot of things but he has to campaign for his party and you saw him he went to see president he really came out the middle state before that time i really Shumale have never come out and talked about you know basaki or his, uh, a pdp candidate well only god knows the meeting that he had with the president or what the people who are the president and of course he has to come out and uh, speak and you don't forget that he still said that more than 80 percent of the people in government house including all of us we're all from this uh, yeah. to Malaysia law so he knows that we are his people and we're doing very well so he's expected but let people speak the truth let them see when you are talking like me i can never insult anybody or talk bad and i'll speak to the facts let's see let this campaign the issue base let's look at the competence capacity you know of the individual we are putting forward you know and for now he has the best candidate to sell with the honor instead of them to praise and so it's not by speaking to you it's not by being learned it's not by being enlisted it's not by being uh, this or this or that at the level at which we are now this 24th century you need somebody that can represent you all over the world you put all the negotiations and the things that obviously goes today is in china today is in america they talk about mou without memorandum of understanding which is the meaning of mou you can't do any deal you can't mm -hmm. do any contract you can't write anything so there must be mou you know memorandum of understanding and when you understand business you know that is the process so don't blame anybody apc will come out and say anything now they don't have anything they don't have any content you can see the state chairman and all those that were talking about the basically talking about oh they come out you have spent our fund yeah, those are not things that you need to talk about. look at let's talk about the issue let's look what do you have to deliver what have you got to give to your people what have you got to transform the development that basically has done better for us in future those are things that we should be talking about and who has the capacity to do without talking bad about person or how god has you know what the capacity of people or what they have i have we have pdp have a very good product to sell the, the governor and the deputy governor candidates they have a good product to sell and it's our responsibility to tell those people to show their those people to let them know that these are the product these are the product that we need to sell and then vote come september 21st comrade they're going to be campaign we expect to hear more from comrade you know comrade talks you okay know, very uh, thank you very much uh, thank you very much honorable just in thank case you still have uh, com uh, uh the former governor's number or somole please uh please we i will i will i will beg if you still have that talking relationship with him please help us send him a test that adult people at home and in diaspora are angry with him since he released that video he shouldn't allow Okwemono, Dennis Dausa, or the president put him in trouble he should not because other people are angry over 100 people have sent me that video to say about why is someone talking like this they are angry they are very very angry so someone please tell him to play clean politics issue-based politics don't come and tell us uh, 
uh, is not by motivational speaker because uh, Doe can never afford to have a governor that cannot express himself. Then he said that also cannot express himself. Opebolo cannot express himself. Please, if you still have that talking, tell Oshomole say, if he say he want to play politics, because I expect Oshomole to have changed from his, from his, uh, from his, from his bad ways, because exactly what he did to, uh, is there Yamu, till tomorrow, is there Yamu is here to forgive him, because he finished, is there Yamu. So when he later came back, to not sell his Yamu to a in 2020, they said, no! You told us that this man purpose yeah, see. <laughs> so Oshomole is no longer a baby. He's 70. Oshomole declared 73 finish. I will say no. Oshomole is 76. So Oshomole finish. I will told us, which he paid us say before he finished. I will come go back to APC now. He said he'll tell us what he happened to that uh, Ministry of Education where Oshomole will find results. See tomorrow now let Oshomole not get uh, Classmate, almost like a gay classmate, someone like not gay. So please, if you see how that talking this thing with him, send him a text that a dumb people are angry with him. No, sir, we have over 500 people watching. My admin they sent out to me yesterday. You know, we have over 500 people watching, and then they send me questions for the comment session. As the de deputy director general feed operations. You see the way and they ask you question. But this is what you're telling us in our street media because for here we talk any here sometimes. So eh, if for someone that is 76 can still talk any here. Me, I'm just 42. So me, I go still talk any here for this election because Oshomole is my mentor in the area of talking anyhow. We are learning from Oshomole. So this is our street media. So as the deputy director general field operations as well of the campaign organization. APC recently released an old clip when Asiwaju Tinubu was campaigning when he came to Edo to charge the Edo delegate, the Edo uh, APC, that he was going to take over Edo and hand it over to them. So they brought out that clip to remind us that because what they what they tell us is not be worried that they are one of the poor for election. Say now, politician, I did there now, and that Tinubu has this personal issue with Obaseki that he tried to stop Obaseki in 2020. That Tinubu is coming to rig Edo. I know how many episodes don't send me say all this cafe all they do, and they waste time. I boy, ah, what boy in the neck. They said they will write the result, give it to I neck, me I neck, and that's all. So we have over 500 people watching all over the world. They are also going to communicate this message to their loved ones, to their staff, to their friends. As the field of pressure, how Una what a checkmate the federal might, the rigging forces of APC. We know that Oshomole like rigging. That one man one vote only work for Oshomole. How I how is your office? How is PDP going to checkmate? The federal, the federal might. Thank you very much, uh, my brother. First of all, we are campaigning. We need to convince our people and let our people know this is who we are. This is our product. This is our plan. This is the five-point agenda for the state. And this is what he wants to do. That's important. Then by the time we do that, it will come September 21st, our people will go to their units to go and vote. And we are educating them as well as so once you vote, protect your results. By the time you, you saw what happened today, look at the crowd. So are you coming to read that kind of result that where people are people voice are behead? So as you know, what we need to do and what we are doing is just to talk to our people and campaign to them. Yes, APC, they don't have anything to campaign with. That's why they are telling you we're in federal, federal matters. See what I see what you have more problems in this table. On his plate than even looking at a do to come and mm. win a do for future and all that. I believe that. I think what is the Democrats, you know, and when that time come, come, they will be disappointed. You know, that I see what you tell them, lady, it happened before. Let the best person for a do, you know, let people vote for whoever they feel can rule them. So that does not mean whether APC or PDP that see what you will do what against the will. People have been calling and say, well, yes, yeah, just the same question that you asked. They say oh, they want to go and protest that statement. I said, no, that statement was made when they had issues 
on their yes. primaries. And the best way that we should, uh, I mean, the president could talk to them was to make promises that he would give them a do back. Giving them a do back, he tried it in uh, 2000 and, uh, 2020. It didn't work. You know, so he's not, he has so many things. Nigerian problem is bigger than what we think and what we know. You understand? So he knows what he's feeling. They sold this country, APC have sold this country during Buhari's time. They've used oil that have not been drained to borrow money. We are in total mm. debt. Tinubu uh, uh, has a lot in his place that start worrying about election in a day. But let it come here without boasting. Our people will vote, we will defend our vote from the units to the ward to the local government and state level. And let's see, bumper to bumper, following our results. If they, will they vote and they win, Yes, that it's going to be free and fair. We will defend our result. We will guide our result jealously, and will be announced. And I have no doubt at all that our doctor after Godalo and Busaradi Ongi will emerge victorious come September twenty first or twenty second, you know, twenty twenty four. So don't worry, comrade. For comrade, comrade is a party. I let him talk for his party. Comrade talks a lot. He talks, you know, speak, and he enjoys. You know, talking. So he will continue to talk. I've not spoken to him for a while, so I, I don't think I had the number that I have is still using it. But I'm not going to do that to say, "Come, stop talking." He will talk. And like I said, oh, okay, okay, but what if I get what if me? I'm I'm the cracking boss. I can get to someone less direct number. What if I get the number and I forward it to you as former commissioner to say, "Baba, you know the baby again, not the yellow pata again." <laughs> can I, should I get the number for you? No, 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 no. <laughs> we know we're in different we're in different party. If I call comrade, I probably say come and work with me. So I don't want that contact. Okay. Uh, so let me just see where we are. If I see him, which I think we might run into each other, maybe he comes to Benin at an event, or if I can get anybody as close I have his number, I can call him and say say hello to him and greet him. Because no matter what, we're trained well and he's an elder and he was my former boss. In the state and i have maximum and a lot of respect for him till tomorrow because he mm. did me very well he was very kind to me personally and my father so i cannot insult him so if he does anything that is not right and i see him i can say papa so but you know i like i say his campaign because by the time we start campaigning we are going to say a lot of things as well okay so honorable, gonna... honorable as honorable as the deputy director general feed of christians Will you be happy that day if you hear that as a result of your work, Oshomole lost his unit? If I'll be happy. Yes. Do you want to hear that Oshomole lose the unit? Yeah, why is not? Oshomole, Oshomole is not polite. He's an opponent. Why not? We are doing everything. We are reaching out to people in his unit to see how we can get people to work for us there. So, and so if discipline, we're able to that, so, so discipline him there. <laughs> But I doubt so that would be possible. <laughs> he tried for his people, they love him. So but we want to try and reduce the numbers. Our DG um, um for Isaac, I do not. Omini oh, Minini uh, was the Pascal woman. He's doing uh, very well. He's converting a lot of people, a lot of APC are leaving uh, APC to join PDP. So we are sure that uh, the damage you know that we're looking at will be reduced so you know, you know, for me for me sir, i believe comrade is, is living on past glory because as a city senator he has not done anything for his people he's even running he's running you know the goals he's running so i am very sure that comrade comrade is overrated i'm sure comrade will lose his unit on that very day because <laughs> i'm walking around the clock i'm reaching out to people in esaco to make sure that they defeat uh, comrade in a free affair Anyway, till then. You know, for yeah, Philip, you know. Philip is we, we, we know Philip. That one Sabi lose unit. I know it to Metro tribe here. He, he, you know they win before. Uh, you know they, he doesn't win. Uh, we know that one. But we are going to work to make sure that someone learn lose his unit. <laughs> well, Abad, while we are doing that, we will make sure we win our own because we need to win our units. We go. We no, leader, we went to Apu today. I am yeah. very, I am ninety five percent sure that we are clearing the seven local government in a, in a, in Edo South. Amen. Amen. Because, no, everybody, everybody there today was not only from Edo South; it was across the states. 
There are a lot okay. of people from Edusa Club, from Edu Central, not only Edu South. Everybody there was across the state ahead. You know, most of my friends drove down, they brought their buses with their people on their own. You know, from Esa North East, you know, Romi, from Edu North, Akoko Edu, they were all there, you know, with their people to say, no, what will be part of this rally? And even then, we said, uh, DG, please, we want to repeat this one in uh, Edu North, we want this to be happening in Edu South, I mean, Edu Central. You know, not just only be in. I said, well, we're just testing the mic today, according to our director general, you know, mm. Matthew Day. He said, let's test the mic, let's knock on the door and let the do, let the, our candidates, you know, have a feel of how he's well loved by the people. Because the man has canvassed, he has campaigned, he has reached out to everybody. And he thought he's wasting time talking to people. If he has, if APC, if APC allow him to come and address them, all of them will follow him and work for him. Because mm. he knew the mistakes. You know, and again, he said, this is who I am. You know, and then most of the people that are quarreling are angry, they angry with the Basaki, you know, because of their own personal issues. Ask them, what did Obasaki do? It's all personal. You know, so when you say, if you talk about the state, oh, what did he do? But you ask him, which road are you? One of them there that they say, ah, which road, which road, where did he stay? He mentioned this road. I said, that road, I know it very well. Who tied the road? And uh, I said, so your own road. <laughs> and the man not try. I said, you're not a good person. You know, who did this one? And I'll, and I'll let that one, not be gone. I said, but he did something. And even the people who were going to be talking about it, he didn't say, do anything. And in the last statement, he now said, well, I will continue and do better than what the people have done. But he said, he did not do anything. Yes. So let this be issue-based interview. There's going to be a lot of interview, a lot of talk. And we just need our brothers and sisters, our parents in diaspora to please support better to do things. It's important for them for the state you know because if they don't if we make the mistake you know the god forbid we don't go back to egypt this state this whoever is coming apart from us where are they here they are going to put us backward if you are coming to a door now if you don't book on time you can't get flight if you are coming beneath lagos for the last three four months or five months i stopped flying to lagos because the road is very good and it's very secure about oh. in terms of security you know, most of the things that they do, you don't say they're very security. And though it's safe, you know, all those kidnapping and armed robbery and those things we are hearing now really, really reduce. You know, there's no way in the world where there's no crime. There's crime all over, even UK there, in America, in Europe, there's crime. You know, so it's the peculiar thing that Basaki can understand and did a lot about the security network, which Aswe Godal was saying is going to be proven, set up a security trust fund that everybody will contribute to. And he will use that trust fund to call security. He pays the said, how can somebody kidnap 50 people? And he won't know where they take them from. In this 21st century, that as we speak now, Joe Biden in his place in America can know where we are. It's technology. And he's going to make sure he brings this kind of technology into Edo and make Edo very safe. That those arm robbers or kidnappers and all that, Edo will not be a safe haven for them. He's talking about all those ones. So by the time security is taken care of, new people want to come back home and invest. Tourism will okay. be. Uh, no, honorable, so. my last question before I let you go. My last, because I, as I captured today, I will, <laughs> everybody tell me that I don't let you go, but this is my last, my last question, sir. You have done very, very well today. This one has street you. media. So if you see the way they knock on, now some of the two are here. If you don't do it like that, our uh, people will not enjoy it. My last question for you today, sir. You have done very well in uh, marrying uh, the outgoing governor and the incoming governor together. It is the, the continuity that we are preaching. And by the grace of God, I swear it's going to continue from where our pastor came to the opposition, they said Obaseki is no longer popular. That is why he is not campaigning. I don't know if you can. That is why he is not campaigning for Aswe Godalo. This is my last question, sir. And uh, they said Obaseki is no longer popular. That is why he is not campaigning with Aswe Godalo. Is almost like it's still popular in the street of Edo. You know, I tell something about people and the way they are wired. Almost like he's a different person. He's not the ordinary or common politician that makes noise. And there's everything, there's a roadmap. 
as part of the campaign management team, we'll set up our plan by next week. We're going to launch our our campaign, and of course, we cannot campaign and talk about all these good things without the governor himself being there. As we speak now, the man is focusing on even doing more work and doing other things. We had meetings with him. All these things that we're doing, he has and it is part of it. So when the campaign started with Obasaki, and Obasaki will come and talk because he's the leader of the party, he's the one that's running over, he's the governor that has performed, he has a lot of things to tell the other people what he has done with their money, his stewardship and everything. So how can you be talking about not popular, not popular? There are just people that are angry. And again, those people that are angry, they have personal issues with them, with Obasaki. Anybody that come and complain about it, ask him what you're doing, what did he do? So, my brother is trying to when the campaign starts, what do you come out? Because he's going to lead us and lead this campaign. And the rest of us, our Australian girls, and when the national team comes, they will see him and we'll all campaign together. We thought about it, we can't come. So, it's going to be oh. dead. Popularity is not, you know, about it, people are different. By the time about it, he's finished, he decides to stay, which I doubt, or he wants to move on. And do other things, he will still come back to this thing because this is his life. That's how people are wired. It's not the popular people, popular, um, I will, you know, I service or people person. That's my candid opinion. But when you talk about popularity, it's different. He will campaign with us, it's going to be it's going to be making the campaign. Oh, flag off. Thank you very much, Honorable Heaven Leader, Honorable Post Transfer of Seveke and Rome. Oh, uh, we, we 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 just need to let you go now because I know say as a senior politician in the state now from one now from meeting to another meeting now we still have over six hundred over six six hundred and six hundred people watching live as we speak. But it's good. Any time we will still find you if there are issues that we need you to come and to come clear on air we will still try to get you and please no no best say this the 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 way we take the interview yeah that's how it be <laughs> so it's not the professional type this is the street media we want to thank you for your time we want to thank you for all you're doing for our state for me i have lots of respect for you you know okay. I, I have lots of respect i'm always happy to see you because by this time, I can say you're not dead the other side, you know, but you are still here. You are still here with the governor. You are still around to push the progressive movement of a door. And I pray for you today. You will succeed in your in your in your office as the field operations for PDP in this election. Come September 21. We will be on ground to celebrate together. I know you are yes. progressive and we'll keep praying for you at least. From what we saw, you see, say the 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 video, you see the sweet of the watch. Say without a dime, people come out like this, constant in solidarity, because they no to any form of judicial radicality, any form of Abuja or federal might. So, sir, I want to say a big thank you for coming, and. Uh, We'll see it again, sir. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. And thank you to all my brothers and sisters in that's where. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. It's a... Arena. Yes, it's been a wonderful evening. Very interesting interview. Um our brother senior man in the states honorable usaze ero uh, in the touch of the area i don't give him time just now the man if you give him one hour he will fit tell you the achievement of the governor we keep bringing critical stakeholders leaders of our party to this plan uh, a platform to speak to our people so before we go i want to appreciate a dose that came out today massively to show their support, their solidarity, to send a clear signal to the APC that the only thing that Edo Epo will accept is a free and fair election. I want to thank everyone that came out today, my team, my supporters, those who hear my voice will say, ah, 
see what you about talk make we go ring road i appreciate you see this is our mobilization tundra she will not see the way our people they move with dj as if we already go there today with over 500 people that follow us go that play today over 500 people that we as a as well as a as well okay marshals that follow us go there so i want to appreciate everyone i want to thank those in diaspora as well is feeling your work as well is feeling your support the party pvp they are feeling you people please add more effort if you get auntie we never show love since oh yeah show that your auntie loves it and see why they show you love now because election they come and see you with the support too, you know so guys i want to thank you mr don't tire i was about to do two hours today but i know we'll fit mr don't tire we be certain they make calls since they mobilize they do one or two mr also need to sleep on time today is some minutes past the uh, past 10 o'clock here in the uk so i see you uh Rest, baby. I see you. I like Dimitri. He's always here to support us, to support the Edo project. Oh, Mama Ivy Rose, thank you very much for the stars, one thousand stars. Life uh, assurance, thank you very much. Thank you very much, everyone. Nimat Ade Adebola, I stress you where we're today, especially when the network. Hey, are they call Nimat? What is going on? Change network. Change if you don't use MTN, change to glow. If you don't use glow, change to Etisalan. If you don't use Etisalan, change to Ete. I they call Nimat because I hate that my team are streaming and we're going to get network challenge. I respect my audience, I respect my fans. You know, it's annoying when you really want to see what they go on and the, the network they break. One of the Nigeria problem not be our fault. So I want to thank you, everyone. I do, I do. God bless you. Uh, Sunday Black, thank you very much. Um, Alisa Peter, thank you very much. John Osa Obasoha, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please follow this page. Share this video before you go. Share this video. Uh, share this video. Drop your comment. Give us thumbs up. Then for those watching us on YouTube. Somebody sent me a uh, super chat. Thank you very much. Two, two dollars uh, super chats. I'm sure you can do better. Thank you very much. God bless you. We really appreciate you for your time. At least make my make my admin make the still go sleep because as midday online now they said they go sleep. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Tomorrow four p.m. I don't say we get one broker so we never finish. Barista. Noah Osa Obegye tomorrow four o'clock we march. So now because of when I went to Canada and America, then we feast four o'clock. So tomorrow, I know if you come here, come they say we uh, share, share, share. Mm -mm. Tomorrow we need to be outside. We need to be outside. We need to be outside. We need to be outside tomorrow four o'clock. So tomorrow will halt because I know Barista Obegye. I know her very, very well. Now is a Yamu person, now APC person. So he gets a lot. And I hear say Okwewolo the beggar every day to come back. Because the man sound. So just fix your alarm now. Go do what you need to do. Four o'clock. Come take your seat. Come with your popcorn. And any kind of drink where you like, consider tomorrow. Will not be nine o'clock. Oh, tomorrow is four o'clock. Set your time now. Tomorrow is four o'clock. So, thank you very much, everyone. Thanks for the stars. Thanks for your comment. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the like. Not come out, go sleep. Now, you be the number one asway mobilizer. Now, you now you be number one, not be me. Me as I mobilize, and so you say go mobilize. Even if you don't get platform like me, you figure your meeting people, you figure your village people, you figure your staff. Talk to somebody today. APC don't be feel up already. Now why they wrong? Go meet the people. Say ah, the one way as well. That's for a day. That problem. You will need to join us to help us rig this election. Though. Just like honorable as they just talked just now, rigi is not possible. That one, I, cannot, I will assure and say, Riggy, it's 
not possible. So more like forget that one. Tinubu will definitely disappoint all these APC people where they rely, where they wait for ranking. So thank you very, very much, everyone. Anytime I do podcast like this, my children are there. They always sleep before I finish. And it's me, I go play with them small before they sleep. See you tomorrow, 4 p.m. God bless you. Bye. My friend, will you wait for this job? In terms of infrastructure, payment or salary, 70,000 minimum wage, I swear, okay. Improve healthcare, education and development for agriculture, basic amenities and power. Support for market women, youth empowerment and entertainment, I swear, okay. For accountability, continuity, we can count on, I swear. I swear, okay. I swear, okay.